Sometimes close is not close enough and you need to get a little bit of help to get the magnification you want to get a shot. This is where the Nissi 49mm plus 9 Diapler clip-on lens comes in handy. Nissi have sent over their 49mm plus 9 diopter clip-on lens. They sent this over free of charge, however Nissi don't have any involvement in this video and these are my true thoughts and real world review of this clip-on lens. So we're going to start first of all with the technical specifications of this lens and then I'll get on to my results from testing and my real world review. So first of all it comes in this nice padded pouch very well protected and it is a 49 millimeter thread and it screws onto the front of your lens it's a great build quality the lens and the optics are fantastic it's made of metal is absolutely solid build quality from this and it's what you would expect from nissi it does come with a couple of step up rings if you want to attach it to a larger size filter thread and you can also buy third party step up rings if you want to attach it to a larger lens however the larger the thread that you're going to attach it to the more vignetting you will get from this lens close-up lens is the most effective way to achieve a closer minimum focus distance the magnification achieved depends on the focal range of the lens used the magnification will be higher with longer focal length lenses magnification will be close to one to one when you focus at 200 millimeters the nissi close-up lens can make a telephoto lens function as a macro lens with a large working distance so what this lens enables you to do is to do macro photography when you haven't got a macro lens that is its first purpose screw it onto the front of a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and that turns that lens into a macro lens it's a plus nine diopter lens. It's one of the highest magnification ones on the market as of this recording. As I said again, it comes with a hard protective shell case. It's well protected and you're not going to damage it by throwing it around like I do. It's got high quality optical glass exclusively by Nissi with free Nissi APO corrective optical glass. Purple and green fringing is reduced to a minimum when paired with a high quality lens. And again, you do need to pair it with a high quality lens. If you're going to clip this onto a really low budget lens, then your results may differ from the ones I'm going to give you in this video. So to recap, you clip this lens onto a zoom lens, 70-200, 70-300 zoom lens, and it turns that lens into a macro lens. I don't have those type of lenses here because I am a macro photographer. So I want to talk specifically about using this lens as a macro photographer. So as a macro photographer, I already have macro lenses like this lower 100 millimeter here. This is a two times macro lens. And I also have the Olympus system and I have the 60 millimeter 2.8 lens here. And I've used this lens on both of these cameras and i will give you some results from testing from these lenses when i give you the test results here i will be talking about working distance i'm not going to talk about focusing distance focusing distance is from the sensor to your subject and that can be awkward because lenses are at different sizes you've got different camera bodies so i will talk about just the working distance and that is from the end of the lens to our subject. The magnification that can be achieved using this lens is all based on the magnification of the lens you're clipping it to and the focal length. The more focal length you have, say a 300 millimeter lens, the more magnification you will get. So let's talk about clipping this lens onto my full frame setup. This is the Canon EOS R with the lower 100 millimeter f2.8 lens. Again, this is a two times macro lens. So at a one to one magnification on this setup, I have 36 millimeters in the frame that equates to one to one it's the same size as my sensor the working distance is 9.5 when i screw on this 49 millimeter lens the magnification changes to a 1 to 1.7 the working distance is reduced from 9.5 to 5 centimeters so we are gaining magnification we are able to focus closer to our subject but at the same time we're losing working distance. When I set the lens to a two to one magnification, again, as you can see from this image, you can see 19 centimeters. That equals a two to one magnification. And I have 7.5 centimeters of working distance. When I clip on the Nissi lens, I then get 13 millimeters in our viewfinder, which 
works out at 2.7 times magnification and I have a working distance of four centimeters. So if you do have a full frame setup and you have a two to one lens, you can get 2.7 magnification clipping on this lens and a working distance of four centimeters. So the maximum working distance as well as the minimum magnification while the lens is clipped onto this setup, as you can see from the image, it's 40 millimeters, which equates to around 0.9 times magnification and a working distance of 11 centimeters. So if your subject is bigger than 40 millimeters, you'll have to take the lens off in order to get a picture of it. So if you're photographing dragonflies and you're photographing damselflies and you wanna go from a headshot to a body shot, you'll have to keep taking the lens on and off. That's the full frame setup. Let's talk about micro four thirds with this clip on lens. I got one of the best images of my career using this lens. This is with the Olympus EM1 Mark II, the 60 millimeter F2.1 lens and this clip on lens fantastic image i love it let's talk about the text it's a micro four third center it's half the size of our full frame sensor so we do talk about a full frame equivalent so at one to one full frame equivalent that's a 36 millimeters that you can see on this image we have 12 centimeters of working distance we clip this lens onto the front of our setup and we have 18 millimeters which equates to a two to one magnification working distance at one to one is then reduced from 12 centimeters to 5.5 centimeters that gets very very close so again it all depends on the subject you want to photograph as to whether you want to take the risk to get that close at a two to one magnification you can see we've got 17 millimeters in the frame and a working distance of eight again we clip the lens on when we are set to that magnification and we get 12 millimeters which is a three times magnification so being able to clip that lens on and get in a three times magnification with the Olympus setup is absolutely fantastic for photographic ants. And you can get images like this and like this with this lens and the Olympus setup. However, the working distance is then reduced to a 3.5 centimeters. So again, it's really down to knowing your setup and knowing the subject as to whether or not you can get away with getting that close. Certain subjects you can, other subjects you can't. And it's just experience out in the field as to knowing whether or not you can get away with it let's talk about the minimum magnification and the maximum working distance on the olympus setup the minimum magnification is 28 millimeters that's just a little over a one-to-one -one magnification and we have a working distance of nine centimeters so again if your subject is larger than that you will have to keep taking the lens on and off of your setup so when it comes to sharpness, I have not seen any reduction in image quality while using this lens, which is absolutely fantastic. You want good sharp images when you're doing your macro photography. Vignetting, however, you do get quite a bit of vignetting, but it's nothing that you can't compensate for in Lightroom in post-production. However, again, the larger your lens, the more vignette you will get with this lens. However, Nissi do make larger lenses. So if you do have say a 67 millimeter lens, you might be worth you getting the larger lens to avoid that deep vignetting. So we've talked about the magnification differences on the different setups. We've talked about the sharpness, the vignetting. What I wanna talk about is an advantage you get with depth of field while using a clip-on lens. So let's say you have a subject that to fill the frame, you need to set your lens to a one-to-one -one magnification. What you can do with this is you can clip this onto your camera and then step back so you've got a one-to-one -one magnification again, but the result is you're further away from your subject, which results in a higher depth of field. Take a look at these two shots. These two shots I have lined up and framed up exactly the same, except one of them is with the Nissi clip-on lens. In short, what it does is you're increasing the magnification of your setup, which means to get the same field of view you have to be further away, which increases your depth of field. So if you are struggling with depth of field in your shots, then you can try clipping on one of these lenses, back off a little bit and increase your depth of field. All of the images you are seeing in this video have been taken using the Nissi 49 millimeter clip on lens. I absolutely love it. It's a brilliant piece of kit. And again, I did get one of the best images of my portfolio using this clip on lens. I strongly believe that every macro photographer needs one of these clip on lenses in their bag. 
It's a very quick way of increasing your magnification. It's a good tool for increasing your depth of field also. There are links down in the description if you want to get more information on this lens or if you wish to purchase it, but that's where I shall leave this video. I want to thank Nissi for sending over this new lens. I want to thank you for getting to the end of this video and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please subscribe and click the like button. It really does help out the channel. I want to thank my Patreon supporters for their continued support in supporting me and this channel. If you're interested in joining Patreon, then check in the description below this video for a link to Patreon. If you want to continue watching my macro journey, then click one of the videos in front of you now.